Hi Webster Gardens. Even though we cannot gather physically right now, um, it's so important that we continue to come together as a community uh, because God designed us to be in relationship, relationship with each other and relationship with him. And one of the ways that we can come together, even though we can't be together in one room, is that we can lift our voices. Um, we can lift our voices in prayer. We can come to God with our concerns and our hopes and our desires and our thanksgiving. And so that's what we're going to do today is pray together. But first, I wanted to share with you something that's been bringing me some comfort in these recent days uh, from a book called Psalms Now by Leslie Brandt. And I still have my dad's original copy that was published by CPH back in 1973. Uh, but I, I often turn to it uh, to read the Psalms as the author, Leslie Brandt, has understood them with our modern lives in mind. So I'd like to share Psalm 23 with you as written by Leslie Brandt, and then we'll pray together. The Lord is my constant companion. There is no need he cannot fulfill. Whether his course for me points to the mountaintops of glorious ecstasy or to the valleys of human suffering, he is by my side. He is ever present with me. He is close beside me when I tread the dark streets of danger, and even when I flirt with death itself, he will not leave me. When the pain is severe, he is near to comfort. When the burden is heavy, he is there to lean upon. When depression darkens my soul, he touches me with eternal joy. When I feel empty and alone, he fills the aching vacuum with his power. My security is in his promise to be near to me always, and in the knowledge that he will never let me go. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we come to you during this holy week with so many concerns on our hearts and minds, and we know that there is no need that you cannot fulfill. That even when our pain is severe, you comfort us. When our burden is heavy, you are there to lean upon. So we come to you today um, with, with many concerns on our minds and hearts, but we especially want to share with you these requests that we have received this week. We pray for the health and personal concerns of Leanna Butterfield, Jerry and Barb Hollenbeck, Sophia Lennertz, Kayla Perk, Sophia Rimchisel, Kim Vaughn, Jameson Woods, all those stricken with COVID-19 and their family members and caregivers. We pray, Lord, for all in the medical community who are working on the front lines of this pandemic around the world. We also pray for all those in service-related industries. We pray for the restoration and health of those who are sick, all who are sick. We pray for families as they make complicated adjustments to staying at home. And we pray, God, for those who are secluded and lonely, that they will sense your presence in new ways. We pray for those who do not know you, Jesus, that they would believe in you and that they would have relationship with you. We also, Lord, lift up to you Stephen, Whitney, and Jennifer Friedick, Ed and Bev Pytel, Nancy Rice, Joel Rogi, Mary Sevick, Joanne Shirley, Mary Torno, Kate, Camilla, Colby, Jackson, Jenny, Jessica, Leanne, Luann, Luke, Olivia, Sarah and Andrew, Shania, Tiffany, and Zion. God, we rejoice with Bill and Marla Hoffrichter on the birth of their grandson, Hayden Hoffrichter, to David and Heather on April 3rd. We pray for those who are grieving, Lord, especially for Pastor Vic Constein and Mary and Dave Daring on the death of wife and mother, Dorothy Constein, on April 7th. We pray for Angela Schultz and her family on the death of husband, Walter Schultz, on April 6th, and we pray for Mary Newman on the death of her cousin, Jean Rice, on April 6th. God, we look around the world and we see so much chaos um, all over the globe and right even in our own lives, but we know, Lord, that you bring order to chaos. We ask that during this holy week, as we're all physically separated from each other, even as we wish that we could be together, that we would understand the glory of your resurrection, Jesus in new and clear ways, and that we would be able to shine the light of that resurrection to those around us, those whose paths we cross in all areas of our life, 
um, in different ways now that we are um, restricted to our homes. We know that your resurrection, Jesus, is the answer to every question. We pray that that would be more and more real to us and to the world around us. We ask all these things and all the other things on our hearts and in our minds. Um, in your name, Jesus. Amen.